In theory, if it had been property, they would have had to pass a law seizing 90% of the property of everybody in the country. That would not be so popular, right? To seize the property. And if they wanted to seize 90% of the property of everything in the country, they would have had to subpoena a court in New York or Delaware and get my appearance, right? And there would have been three, four, five years of lawsuits going on. And if you really wanted to take something, you have to kidnap everybody and take them to jail and sweat their private keys out of them. And that's not very practical, right? So at the end of the day, it's not likely that the governments of all the world will just confiscate 90% of your crypto assets or your Bitcoin. But in fact, it's a foregone conclusion that they're definitely going to compensate 90% of your currency, right? It's happening at 1% a month or 2% a month right now. So all you got to do is wait between five and 10 years and you're going to lose 90% of your, of your money if it's in a currency or a currency derivative. And they don't even have to pass a law.